G'day! In today's video, I'm going to be opening up a Lenovo Legion Y545. And then the last bit's model number is 81Q6. So this particular one has a this particular one has a i7-9750H, 16 gig of RAM, a RTX 2060 in there, some screws out, four screws along the front are smaller screws. And the reason to open up is just have a look at the repairability of this, and also to go over how you could go about upgrading your RAM if you'd like to, and also check out what kind of hard drives we've got in here. Now this is the more gamery looking version of the Lenovo laptops. There's also the Y40, I think it is. The Y400. And that sports very similar hardware. And main, even the main board I believe is the same, except the external of it does look different. A lot less gamery. I'm just gonna put my pry tool in here. And twist. Now from there you should almost be able to use a bank card once you've got the initial part of it opening. Slide this down this way too. There we go. A bit of a twist and a lift. And just as mentioned, here is the model number. I can zoom you guys down to that. wants to focus for me. There we go. And anyway, what we see inside the machine. So what we've got here, apart from a very decent sized cooler, take this off. So to begin with, over on the left hand side at the front here, we have a hard drive connector. We, on this particular one we are missing the connection cable to be able to connect up the 2.5 inch drive. I'm not sure if they come with that from the factory in the box, but this particular one doesn't have one existing out here. So yeah, here you could potentially upgrade to basically whatever size drive you can get. Um, be it a two terabyte, three terabyte in 2.5 inch configuration. One screw, two screw, three, four, that would come out put the hard drive in here, connect up the hard drive connector, and then over here, this black bit folds up, and it would slide it in. And it would lock the, lock the connector back down. So we can upgrade to a 2.5 inch drive. We do have a single M.2 NVMe slot, which is right here. So it comes from the factory of 512. This one had been replaced with the 256. So single screw. You can lift up the module from there, and we're out. From here we have the keyboard connector, right here. And to the right of that, we have the battery, which on this one is a 55 watt hour battery, over here. Which to replace that is pretty straightforward. We have a few different screws to undo. We have one, two, three, four, and one connector here. But you should just be able to get a nail under there on the black part and pull it back. So if you're going to do the RAM upgrade or hard drive, some people recommend that you do disconnect that. It is worthwhile, just on the odd chance you may kill your components. But then that just pulls and pushes back in. Disconnect it again. There you go. Next up, under this part here, this is where our RAM's located. Before that, we have the wireless card over here, which is running an Intel, where are we? An Intel wireless card, which is a Intel 8560NGW, which is also very straightforward to replace. We'll disconnect antenna one, two, Undo the screw, pull it out the same as we did with the M.2, 
put it back in, get these connectors back down. Over here, we have the ram, so I will use a pair of tweezers just to flick this up, like so. This cover comes off, and you can see these silver connectors here. That's what you need to realign when you go to put the cover back on. So we'll do that in a minute. But looking at the RAM, we have 8 gig of 2666. I can get it to focus on my RAM. There we go. And that does have the Lenovo sticker on there. The reinstallation of that is pretty straightforward. I'll spin you guys on an angle. It slides in on a 45 degree angle and then pushes down. You'll see that bit there click into place and same over here. So to remove it, we go click, click, and we're up. Out. Do notice that, see that notch smack bang in the middle there? Near my finger here. That there has to be aligned one way. It only fits one way. And then down. RAM's reinstalled. And this would, I believe this would support up to 64 gig of RAM. Then it comes with 30, uh, 16 from the factory. I'm not sure if you do want to make it any larger. It'll depend on your application. I'll line that up. Just line that up with the various tabs, up high, down and low. So here, here, over here, down here, and when it's lined up, just push and we're reinstalled. So from there, also reconnect your battery, should be pretty straightforward. Line it up, push it in, it should slot straight back into place nice and snug. From here, you can also remove the CPU cooler. The fans are replaceable. I do believe they are two different sizes though. So one's different to the other. I have to take off one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws, followed by another one here, another one here, and over here respectively. Then you will have to disconnect the two antenna connectors, or the fan connectors, here and here. And that should lift up now, regarding repairability on this, well, upgradability, it's all right. We can upgrade the single NVMe. We can add a 2.5 inch drive. We can upgrade the RAM, wireless card, and change the battery. But if you do damage your charger port at the back, located here, which is the Lenovo rectangle plug, you will have to do a fair bit of unsoldering and a board removal to be able to replace that. So definitely be cautious of your charger port on this one. So that's it located down here. And then once you're finished with that, you've done your upgrade, you're all good for the day. Now, put this back on, put the cover back on, start at the back, and work your way around the sides, and that should click back into position. Then remember, long screws along the back, short screws along the front. We'll go over that one more time. Long screws at the back, short screws along the front. And that is how to upgrade your Lenovo Legion Y545, or 545, however you like to call it. Anyway, catch you guys later.